I'm Chris Anderson at the EE Web Tech Lab, and today I have a DC power supply from Amatex Sorensen SG series of supplies. The SG series is available with two types of controls. The SGA series, which uses simple analog controls, and the SGI series, which includes a variety of intelligent controls, including sequencing, constant power mode, and multi-language support. Products from both series are based on a 5 kilowatt power module, with single chassis configurations combining up to six of these to form a 30 kilowatt supply. If you need more power, you can configure up to two supplies in series or five supplies in parallel to act as a single supply, providing up to 150 kilowatts of DC power. Sorensen offers 90 different voltage and current configurations, including a 3U model that will do up to 10 volts and 1200 amps. The supply I have is the SGI 15534. It's an eight kilowatt, zero to 15 volt supply capable of sourcing up to 534 amps. You can see it has a nice bright display that's easy to read from a distance and can be set to one of eight languages. Both the SGA and SGI series have analog and digital remote control interfaces, including GPIB, RS-232, and Ethernet, which uses the LXI standard. One of the big benefits of the SGI series, though, is the sequencing capability that frees up your system controller and shortens test time. It allows you to program in not only standard voltage, current, or power modes, but also voltage or current ramps, as well as using subroutines, looping, and pauses for highly flexible automation. Now, I have a sequence programmed in that is similar to what you might see in a burn-in sequence. And so it's going to ramp the voltage from zero to seven and a half volts over two seconds. It'll let it soak for a couple of seconds and then go to 15 volts, again, on a ramp. From there, it'll soak for a couple more seconds and then ramp back down to zero volts. After that, it'll toggle on high and low, 15 volts to zero volts a few times, and then the test sequence will be complete. All that is handled internally to the SGI. So, start that. Go to sequences. I've already got it programmed in, so I'm gonna start test one. And at the end of test one, it'll actually call test two to do all the on-off cycling. So you can see here on the oscilloscope that it's ramped to seven and a half volts and then to 15 volts. I got it set to a really wide display so that you can kind of see it all happen over time. And now it's on to the zero to 15 volt cycles. So it'll go through a few of those. Um, my load is only 150 watt load, it's, so it's not pushing the, uh, the supply to anywhere near its eight kilowatt capability. Um, but you can at least see the sequencing in action. Now, one of the things I haven't been able to capture on the oscilloscope is the supply's ability to respond to transient loads. So if you have, say, a couple loads on here and one of them goes offline or turns off or turns on, so you go from either a 50 to 100% load condition or a 150% load condition, the supply is rated to recover to 0.75% of the full scale steady state output within one millisecond. So if you're say operating at 100 volts, then within one millisecond, you will be within 0.75 volts of your target steady state output. With up to 30 kilowatts from a single supply and the ability to configure multiple supplies in parallel or series, the Sorensen SG series addresses the needs of applications requiring high power programmable DC supplies. For more info, visit programmablepower.com.